Hello and welcome to this video. This is about how you set up flaps in a very basic way in something like Ardu Pilot. Apologies for the little beeps and chirps in the background. That's the Yapu telemetry script running on the radio. But what I have here set up on the bench is a little quick setup to show you how to do this. If you are playing with Ardu Pilot and potentially you have been goofing around with things like iNav um, and you've come to Ardu Pilot and it isn't clear about how you set up flaps, then I'll kind of run through it here. I need to say a massive thank you to a gentleman called Tim who has helped with this. Now, what I have done here is uh, I have set up in the radio a switch for my flaps, and that is this switch here. This is radio channel eight. I've connected it on a three position switch, and that is what I'm going to use to control my flaps. The other big thing that I've done is I have gone to the trouble of plugging the flaps into a servo checker and getting the values for the upper, middle and lower positions. Because the flaps on this He Wing T2 Cruiser that I've been building out as part of the Ardu Pilot for Beginners 2025 series, they are slightly unusual in that they retract into the underside of the wing. So I absolutely don't want to accidentally try and push that servo too far and potentially overstress linkages or break hinges. So what I've done is I have connected the servo checker to just make sure on both the left and right hand side what the ranges are. And the ranges on this are quite small, so I'm very glad that I did that. If you haven't got it, you can figure it out. Uh, iteratively by just working your way through and doing it old school. However, I would recommend get yourself a servo checker if you're going to be setting up planes like this with Ardu Pilot. It means you can absolutely set the maximum and minimum and not accidentally damage servos, linkages or hinges. So now we have the radio channel all set up, radio 8. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the config and we're going to go into user params. And over here on the left hand side, you can see that I've set up RC8 to be flap. And that tells Ardu Pilot that that channel is going to be used for flaps. Then back up in setup, if we jump into the servo output, then over here, you can see that I've set up two channels for flaps. The flaps on this particular He Wing T2 Cruiser have a left and a right, and it's a very good idea that they do because they have such different ranges. And the ranges that I got for movement was 1551 to 2000 for one side, and also 1000 to 1390 for the other. So again, they're really weird ranges, but the cool thing is because I have already set them up with a servo checker, I can just plug those numbers in. The other thing I've done as well is that I have made it, so the switch at the moment on the radio is in the flaps up position. I've made a note with the servo checker, which of these numbers I need to have the flaps up. And for this, this side, I need to have, when the switch is in the flaps up position, it needs to be at 2000. So I've had to reverse that, which is what that little button does. So that's great. And then in the other side, it needs to be at 1000. So now as I flick the switch, you will see it move, but crucially, you will see it move in a nice, slow, controlled state. So that's all that you have to do. The trick that I would do is get the range of the flap for the individual flaps, or if it's a Y cable, the, the combined flap values for when it's in the in line with the wing position, make a note of which one that is, and also half and full deflection. And then just come in here, plug those numbers in and make sure that when the switch on the radio is in the flaps up position, the value out of the channel that you've set up is gonna be for that up position. And it's just a case of plugging them in. Only one last tip really, if we go into config and jump down into full parameter list, what we're gonna look for in the right hand side is flap underscore, and we're looking for slew rate. And this is the speed that it changes. So by changing this, you can change how quickly the flap actually moves. And if you set it to something like 100, then that means that it'll go to the 100% position in one second. So this, for in my setup here, will take just over one second, but actually that's perfect for me. So if I go back into setup, back into servo outputs, by flicking that switch, I can see that they are moving 
great and I can plug them in without any worry of potentially overextending or getting into trouble breaking servos, connectors or hinges. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.